Let's check out the buffer shuffler, which is a very cool uh, audio effect that allows you to slice your audio in real time and do a bunch of uh, crazy stuff to it. So right here I have uh, just a drum break from the built-in core library. And let's go uh, under packs, max for live essentials, max audio effect, and here we have the buffer shuffler. You get a bunch of presets with it, but let me just load the actual max for live device, the default patch. You can always also go to max for live and search here buffer uh, shuffler, and you'll find it also under there. Okay, so the buffer shuffler, uh, first of all, it's a buffer effect, so it do, does need one loop, one go around, before we actually start hearing what it's doing. So uh, even if I start moving stuff here, we won't hear any changes until the first time it loops. Okay, let me reset that. Um, nice, so first of all, uh, it does need that one-time loop. And now what we have here is actually a real-time slicer where each one of these blocks represent a different time uh, in the uh, loop. And then we can start kind of shuffling, jumping around, slicing it however we want. So let me reset that and let's uh, do some shuffling here. So for example, if I put all the slices on one, just gonna pay the first uh, eighth notes in this case. Nice, now each step, you can also reverse it or you can just gate it, uh, mute it. Excellent, now everything here, this uh, playback, reverse and muting, can be randomized with the D right here, stands for dice. You can also automatically randomize every time it loops. Let's reset that. Nice, down here you also can randomize, you can even uh, move around, like take everything to the left. Up. Here you can randomize it. We can even decide how it's actually dicing. So maybe go up again or invert. And you can also do automatic. So every time it loops, it does that uh, type of uh, command. It's randomized. Nice. And here we can reset. Uh, here is the smooth. It's going to fade in and fade out uh, longer between different uh, slices. So let's say like. Nice, and now here we can barely hear that because it's uh, smoothing out the transitions between the slices. Let's reset that. And let's reset this. Nice. Now, these are not the only options. You have many more uh, sequencers. Before that, let's actually see right here, we can actually turn off this linking between the left and right. And then we have a separate shuffler, one for the left and one for the right. So let's, for example, let's say invert this. So now we have different, it creates some crazy stereo effects because we have different slices uh, on the left and right. Let's link them back together. Nice. Here we can go to the stutter um, um, sequencer. So you can stutter, that's just the amount of stuttering. You can add some pitch variation to the stuttering. And some volume variation. And again, you can smooth out the transition between the slices. Nice, and once again, everything can be randomized here as well. Let's reset that. Gate, uh, so it's gonna shorten, uh, kind of basically put kind of an envelope on each step. Let's do something like this. So everything will be shorter. Kind of put an envelope on it. Here we can decide the minimum and the maximum. And again, smoothing out. Let's reset. Now we have another one, pitch and a frequency shifter. Those ones are off by default because they do introduce some latency. So let's turn this on. Super awesome stuff. We can even like glide. Smooth out the pitch uh, so it's gliding. And here's the minimum maximum range. And can of course randomize it. Very cool stuff. Let's reset. Turn it off. Let's go to shift, frequency shifter. Getting that whistling sound. Here's the, the actual range. 
Oh, the frequency is... Let's keep it low. Smooth it out. Nice, with the pitch. And here we have the amp, just volume. As you can hear, you can completely transform loops very quickly. And that's the panning. Again, minimum, maximum, and smoothing out the transition between the panning. So you can kind of even create kind of a auto pan almost effect. Nice, smooth out the volume. Excellent. So you can do a lot of really crazy stuff here with all these sequencers. Now, right here, uh, we can actually freeze the shuffling. So it's going to freeze on whatever slice we grab it on. But as you can hear, all those other sequencers effects are actually running. If we want to freeze them as well, we need to hit this L, the link. And now we also freeze in the, those effects. So it's super awesome. You can just freeze just the slice. But the, all the effects, except the shuffling, all the effects are running. You can stutter it. Really awesome. Here is the, the length. Let's stop this. I'm going to hit spacebar. Let's stop it so we can change the length. So now if I change it to two, uh, the sequencer will run uh, much uh, slower. Okay, so just uh, run half time. And here we can do how many beats it is. So it really depends on what, how we want the sequencer to run or how long is our audio clip. In this case, it's four, so I can even put it on four. But then each step will take a long time. Um, so we can also increase the amount of steps right here. We also have shortcuts for 16 and 32. So you can get much more resolution. Let's randomize this. Let's close the other ones. So you can even have many more steps up to 32 right here. Now, down here, first of all, you have this button. Uh, you can just display how the waveform looks like, uh, which is very cool, but takes a bit more CPU. Here we can bypass overall volume of the buffer shuffler and dry wet. Right here, we can turn on rules and that, let me go back to eighth. Uh, let me reset everything here. Let's go back to steps. And let's reset this. Oh, reset. Nice. Let's go back to one. Let's go back to one here. So rules, if I click on rules, it gives me this grid in the background, which I can deselect or put back in, just clicking, and deselect uh, areas. And then uh, whenever we want to choose that, we can choose those, because now we uh, excluded them from the selection. And this is great also, because each one of these sequencers has its own rules. So if you want to randomize, but you still want to help the randomization to keep uh, being uh, as musical as possible, uh, you can do that. And as you saw, if I click reset, it even reset that. See, so now it moved some of them, even though they were reset, we can not choose those. So those are the rules. Let me reset the rules. You can even randomize the rules. Oh, we can randomize the rules. Okay, awesome. And lastly, uh, right here we can save patterns, so let's randomize that. So we can save that. Um, let's uh, randomize this. Nice. And all we have to do is we actually need to just uh, hold shift and click uh, to save it. And then we can also copy paste or reset um, the, the pattern that we saved. So that's the buffer shuffler. Super amazing stuff. So quickly you can come up with some very interesting, completely transforming ways of using your loops. And here I'm using uh, drums, but of course, feel free to use uh, anything uh, you think uh, might work, uh, vocal loops, synth loops, and stuff like that. You can do so many crazy things. Buffer Shuffler, check it out, experiment. Have fun.